When you receive your Labrum 14, the box will include the Labrum 14 itself as well as its wall charger. If you ordered the Pure Boo bundle or privacy screen, you should find the associated items in the box as well. With the privacy screen installed, those viewing your screen from a side angle won't be able to make out what's being displayed. For most users using Core Boot, simply plug in your Librem 14 and power it on. If you have the Pure Boot bundle, attach your Librem key first, then power on. Pure Boot users should also see a green indicator light on first boot. If this slowly flashes red, this indicates there may have been tampering. Contact support for advice on how to proceed. The Labrum 14 ships with PureOS 10 pre-installed, and if you selected Cubes OS, you should find the Cubes OS installation disk in the box. At first boot, you'll see PureOS startup and the setup dialog be presented. The setup dialog asks for your language and keyboard layout. If your Wi-Fi is on, you'll be asked to set that up as well. You can also opt to enable location services or leave it disabled. The hostname is the name of your device. Pick something meaningful. By default, the Librem 14 will encrypt the operating system and user data with the password you give here. This password cannot be recovered if you forget it. Make sure to set a strong password you'll remember and keep it in a password manager if possible. Lastly, you'll be asked to set up your new username and password. With that out of the way, head into the software store and check for updates. It's essential to check for and run these updates as security patches and new features are being added constantly. With the basics out of the way, you can enjoy your Librem 14 securely for the hardware's lifetime. Order your Librem device at puri.sm.